my scrappy friends, I'm going to be working on an art journal page that I made for Shimmers, um, and I'm finally starting to get it edited. I have been so slow. I have not had a lot of time in my room to get a lot of this stuff done. So I get projects made, but getting the, these videos out to you. So I apologize. This was a super fun one. So those leaves I had actually made a while ago. And if that's something you guys are interested in seeing me do a little bit more of, I can do a video where I show you how I did them a little bit more. So I just traced some die cuts that I had, or like cut files. And then I, um, I went in and I used shimmers, watercolors, um, mostly to um, create those watercolor pieces. Um, they're super, super fun to do. Uh, so, so, but then I thought this page needs something else. So I pulled out a whole bunch of fall colors and I'm gonna be, as you see, I'm doing a sunflower. This year we had sunflowers out in our yard and they just, it was like the gift that keeps giving these sunflowers pretty much until it got really cold they just kept blooming and they are so gorgeous and so fun. So this was the inspiration that I had to go off of. So I picked some of the shimmers colors. Um, there's quite a few of like orange and yellow colors um, in, in, um, in the creamies. And so you just add a little bit of water to your creamies and you let it sit for a few minutes and then it's just like this really nice watercolor. I didn't use any of the inklings um, for the petals because I didn't want something really shimmery. So that's the thing to think about is the inklings are the ones that have the shimmer in them and then the creamies are just the plain color. So one thing that I also like to do when I'm doing these kinds of things is use my sprays. So as you can see off to the side, I have some sprays. That's, that color right there is black sweet, black cherry, black cherry soda. I know it's the cherry soda one. And then I also use the okie dokie. And, um, and that okie dokie is, it's like a, a dirt color. It's a really light color. And I also like to use the copper, the penny for your thoughts, um, because it has this really rich color. Now that one has, that's an inklings. And as you can see, I use it like on the side and then I'm just gonna put these little dots. I don't know what made me think to do it this way, but I decided, you know, because when you see a sunflower, it has those, dot um you know it's like a dot <laughs> it's all these little specks and so um you know i went in with the color and this is one thing that with a really good art journal and this one is watercolor paper so it really helps to help blend and sometimes you have to come back you have to um, add just a little bit of water let it dry and come back so these kinds of watercolor things <laughs> Um, definitely take their time to do, but it, it is so worth it if you just play around with it. And the art journal is the best, I found the best place to just play around and find out how these products, how you can make these products work for you. And this is the one thing that I love about shimmers is there are so many different products and that you can use them really similarly, but get a little bit of a different result and something that looks like really awesome. So here I'm going to go back around again. This is after I kind of smudged it and we're going to add some more of those dots again. And I just went all the way around until I got to the middle. So it did kind of take a little while. And this page wasn't a page that I knew was just going to come together. So this is the thing about when, when I tape or when I make these kinds of journal pages, it really is this labor of love. It's something that you're just, you work a little bit at, you come back, you let it dry, and you know, you play around with the colors and you see how they bleed together and how they mix. And uh, this really is just, 
like I said, in our journal is, the, is a really fun way to kind of play with these products and play with your products, your mixed media products and your shimmers and whatever ones that you use and just really get this idea for how they're going to work together so that if you wanted to put this on a canvas or wanted to put this on something else, you you would know how they're going to react. Um, I mean, obviously different papers react a little bit differently, but you're going to know how your products and how your utensils, I should say, like with the paintbrushes and stuff. So, so yeah, it was just really fun to do this. It was a fun way to kind of like bring in September, you know, bring in the fall time and, um, and because those leaves were already done and I really love how those bottom two petals go right into that flower or not flower, that leaf. And so those colors kind of mixed in with the orange colors. And so here I'm adding a little bit of, um, the shimmer pots, and this is where I'm going to add a little bit of color, just a little bit more, you know, and you just kind of play around with them until you get this color and the run the one really fun and awesome thing about when you do something like this is is that if it doesn't really look that great you can just sop it up a little bit more and then um so now i'm going over with that yellow from the shimmer pots and those are a lot thicker it's not quite like watercolor paint but it's not like acrylic so i don't really know how to explain it except for that it's got a little bit more body but it's still really fluid and the it has a little bit more of a shimmer so it's gonna um, intensify the colors underneath but it also is going to bring out some of the shading that i did a little bit and this will just make it seem a little bit more sunflower because i felt like it was just a little bit light um <clears throat> yeah, so I'm also going to just kind of smudge this a little bit because I don't want it to be perfect. Um, but using, like I said, if you're using like a paper towel, you can smudge it a little bit and pick up a little bit more of that color um, and the paint so you don't have it sitting in excess because, yeah. So I forget what I, I just... Um, added some words and I do that. So I used a few of the, um, the sprays too. I like to use that palette. Um, and then I just mix my colors. So, <clears throat> and this is just me doodling. I don't really think this really like adds anything. And then I decide, Hey, you know what? I really like that blob. So I add those those green circles and I know I use keep palms a lot I think I use the bamboo leaf too um that one has more shimmer in it and so the keep palm is just the colorings so that one doesn't have any shimmer to it but I really liked it with the dots I just felt like it kind of helped that open space it that space needed something but I didn't want to overdo it and so um, like a lot of my art journal pages, once I kind of do some watercolor, I like to add some paper to it because you can't take the scrapbooker out of, um, out of me is really probably what it is. So I had built this cluster a while ago, so I'm going to add this there and I think I add something else. I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm looking for, but I really should have my art journal out so I can look at it. But um, yeah, I'm just trying to add a few things and just kind of um, make it a little bit more dimensional. I add some of the cork pieces and I'm gonna add um, some of these words from, they're from Pretty Little Studio. So they're like a die cut pack from, I think it's the Hello Heather line, one of her lines. So I just really like the way that that black looks against all those colors and the leaves and the sunflower. So, um, yeah, just, this was just a fun page to do. Um, and like I said, I like to do this kind of thing, um, each season, just kind of 
make something. I haven't been working in my art journal as much. Maybe, maybe as this winter goes on and I'll have more time in my room that I'll be able to go in and um, do a little bit more. So one of the things that I don't, I know I have my precision pen right now, but I don't use it as much in here because it really gets soaked up. So that's something to think about. So here are some close ups. You can see that's me right before I start working on it and some of the colors and then these other ones. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this. If you guys really like seeing more of these kinds of videos, let me know because um, I will try to make sure that I'm posting a lot more of stuff. Like I said, I'm hoping this winter that I'll have a little bit more time to play around with my products. So I'll see you guys later. Have a great scrappy week. Bye.